This is a tutorial to show you how to edit the property detail page in IDX. This is the page that people come to when they are seeing the entire uh, details on a single property. In order to edit this page, what you're going to do is you're going to log into your IDX broker and you're going to go to Designs, Pages, you're going to come down to Details Pages, and you're going to come all the way over here to Fields. Once you get to Fields, you're going to select a property type because, of course, each different property type is going to be associated with a different set of fields. So I'm going to show you how to do the single family residential. And when you're done, you can come back to this page and you can go ahead and do the same, follow the same procedure for multifamily, rentals, commercial, lots, and land. I'm going to click on single family and view settings and what it's going to do is it's going to bring me up the current layout and I have went ahead and preset this up um, but I'm going to show you how to edit it and also how to create new sections and uh, containers. So currently when you first log into this you're going to see a lot of different fields in here and what I did originally is I went through and I deleted everything and made all of these boxes empty. So you can delete them by clicking the little X in here and just keep deleting until, for instance, you just delete them all. They're gone. Once they're gone, they actually have been added over here. So you're going to go ahead and uh, refresh. Oops. We're going to actually cancel that very easily. If you mess up, this is a good example of how to fix it. Just click back out, go back to Pages, go to Fields. Okay, so I have status, township, and county here. I'm going to delete them. Just pretend like this is what I would have normally done is deleted everything out. And then come over here and sort list alph alphabetically. And I'm going to come down and I'm going to look for status because I know that has to be in there. Township and county. And add them back in. So you can, and then you can drag them around however you may want them to be in here. And you can actually add as much as you want in any specific container. To give that container a name, you're going to put it up here. If you want it to remain blank, you can just leave it blank. And when you're done, you can just hit Save Property Type Layout. You can do the same thing for each one of these containers. And you can um, delete all of the information. If you want to have additional containers, you can come down up here and click Add New Field Container going to add it right here at the top and you can just drag it to where you want it to be. So let's say you wanted to add a new special container down at the bottom. And you wanted it to be one whole column, you could just click the one and it will actually bring it all the way over into one column and make it so it's fully across and you can actually have it, it will actually be two columns that you can customize. So if you want it to just be one on this side and one on the other, you click that little number right here and it will bring it over to one. It's pretty easy to do. Then all you're going to do basically is go through your available fields over here. And what I did is I had this chart that showed me what a buyer report looked like. And I went through and I matched up these fields with these items in here. So you can see the first one, container title, I called it property information. It has the listing ID, subdivision, property subtype, area directions. I kind of followed what these items were right here. And then added a couple more, the status, township, and county in the second column right here. So I could break it up. There were fields that were not in the list. For instance, LP, SP, those are all not in there. Closing date, not in there. You can see that uh, LP, maybe LP is listing price, I'm not sure, so I can add that in there if I wanted to. It's going to add it into the active column, so if I want to bring it up, I have to bring it back up here. Um, SP, maybe that's another price, so we want to kind of look, selling price, yep, there it is. So I'm going to go ahead and hit SP, add that in there. Um, you know, if there's anything else that you may have missed, Again, you can keep going and keep looking for more and add them in as you find those items. And really, it's a matter of you know clicking the plus sign, bring it over here, drag it where you want it to go, 
try to match up those fields or to make it the way that you want it to lay out. Remove the information that you don't want to display in here. And when you're all done, you're going to click Save Property Type Layout. And I'm going to go ahead and delete this right here and click Save Property Type Layout. I'm going to go back to my page and refresh. And now you can make some adjustments. Notice my property information that this field right here looks kind of funny. That's because I don't have a title in here. So it might be better if I just make this one full column or one full box and then bring my second column up over here. And then delete this. And again, you can play with this, change it around, add what you want, rename the sections if you'd like. Um, whatever it is that you want to do, you can go ahead and put the more titles in and just remember to save your property type layout when you're done. And always, always go back and check your page to make sure it looks okay. And as long as everything looks good, you're done.